guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today I have an organization video of my master bedroom. I also wanted to go ahead and do my bathroom, just a few cabinets and also my closet. This has been on my to-do list for a while. I just have not had time to get it done, but on this day I had some extra time. So I wanted to go ahead and cross this off my list. I am just starting off in my bedroom where I have my dresser. I'm just gonna go through all my drawers and get rid of a few things there's just a few things i know i'm never going to wear but for some reason i'm holding on to so i did donate a few things and then i refolded a lot of clothes as well the story we just started to write the pages in my bed i'm waiting for your beauty tonight i need to and now moving on into my closet yes don't judge it is a disaster there was stuff thrown all over the floor so i'm just going to pick up a few things that were thrown on the floor and then i'm going to go through my vanity so this is a very very old vanity that is honestly falling apart i just have not gotten rid of it because i don't have anywhere else to store my makeup so until i can get a new vanity or at least somewhere new where i can store all my makeup i am just holding on to this so i'm going to go through all the drawers and get rid of a few things there was a lot of stuff that is either old or that i never use a few things that i've gotten in my previous ipsy bags that i just hold on to because i think that one day i'm going to use it but honestly i know i'm never going to use it so i got rid of a lot of things and then just try to place everything back as neatly as possible <laughs> Desperate fight My fears are waiting for me at the outside Overwhelmed so a, a little confession, I am a lippy hoarder. I am obsessed with any type of lip products, whether it is lip gloss, lipstick, a lip stain, matte lipsticks, anything, you name it. So I literally have a drawer full of lip products. So I went to go through them and get rid of a lot. There was a lot that were old. So I'm swatching a few to see if they are just dried out and I just don't need them. So I probably should have gotten rid of more, but I did get rid of a decent amount. And then the ones I want to keep, I just placed back into my drawer. As a king or as a knight I will ring, I will fight Until I shine in the night Why should I stay? Please take me away From the life I don't belong With might and with force I'm winning the war No fears, here is where I'm truly strong Changed, no time to wait. Our 
Dogs and demons lurking, but I'm not afraid Well prepared, confident Rushing through the hearts with a sword in my head Getting stronger every hour Casting spells with so much power People raise my banner tanks on every castle tower No quest too hard for me If you wanna join, just bend the knee Don't miss the chance of victory We're gonna make history Whatever I wanna be Nothing blocks me, I'm free We're gonna beat my enemies as a water or a mage In every era, every age Keeping dragons in the cage As a king or as a knight I will reign, I will fight Until I shine in the night Why should I stay? Please take me away From the life I don't belong With might and with force And as far as my husband's side, I didn't get rid of any of his clothes, obviously, because I don't know what he wants to keep or what he wants to get rid of. So I just went through it and tried to straighten up as best as possible. Why should I stay? Please take me away. And this is where I store all of my long necklaces. So I did get rid of a lot. So a lot of them were just changing colors because I've had them for so long. And then a lot of this was tangled as well. So I just untangled everything and then kept a few that I knew that I liked and were more newer items and then got rid of everything else. Also, the pile of clothes on the floor I'm about to show you guys was a decent size right here. So I did donate all of that. Now moving on to my bathroom cabinets. So I am first starting off in this like little junk drawer where I keep a bunch of random stuff. So organized that and just wiped it down clean. And then I will move over to underneath my sink and I will pull everything out and organize all of that as well. I did not do my husband's side. I just did his side maybe a few weeks ago. So his side didn't need to be done, but mine, I just collected so much stuff. So I definitely need to do my side. <laughs>
and now to organize all of my jewelry so this is my little jewelry chest i keep all my jewelry in and unfortunately my kids knocked it over and it was glass it's like a mirrored jewelry chest so when they knocked it over it shattered so this is another thing that i need to buy new but right now it's just not in the budget it's not a necessity so i'm just keeping it until i can buy a new one but i had a ton of jewelry in here that i never wear that was either missing pieces discolored or just not my style so i got rid of so much and then i organized all the items that i still wanted to keep you just have to try harder than you fight you might be lost like sunshine in the night you know what they say life's about to age. if you want to be someone you don't have to wait you just have to try And the last thing I wanted to go ahead and do was just quickly vacuum up the closet. I didn't move everything out because it wasn't a deep cleaning. Anytime I do a deep cleaning of the closet, I do literally pull everything out. But since it was just a really quick tidy up organized, I just quickly vacuumed it up. And this is how the after looks. Like I said, it never looks completely perfect because there's so much work we have to do in this closet. But for now, it looks so much better than the before and I am happy now I can find things. Things are not tangled up. I don't have a ton of makeup that I don't use in the vanity anymore. So glad that I was able to go ahead and get this done. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's master bedroom organization. I hope you guys found some motivation from today's video. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe and turn on your notification bell if you haven't already. I would love to have you be a part of my YouTube family. I just wanted to say a quick thank you to each and every one of you guys who is always commenting and liking and interacting with me in the comments. I seriously appreciate it so much. And if you are new to my channel, I would love to have you introduce yourself in the comments. As always, thanks so much for watching today's video. I love you guys and I'll see you guys next time.